peaches and pomegranates. I want to, I want to have peaches and pomegranates, but I would want fresh ones, so I have to plant a tree. But to get the fruit, I would need to take care of it. And that's like taking care of your faith. If you take care of a plant, then it grows and grows and grows. And if you take care of your faith, then it's like your faith is growing and growing and growing. And that's kind of like how faith is like a seed. And I want to show you this picture out of here. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Because I want to be like the Savior and I can. I'm reading His instructions. I'm following His plan. Scripture power. Every day I need the power that I get each time I read. Hello, I'm Abish and ever since I was a little girl, my father taught me to trust in the Lord. He had a remarkable vision of Jesus and he shared that vision with me. When he told me, I felt like it was true too. I had to keep my testimony a secret because I'm a Lamanite and my people hated the Nephites, which is their religion. When I turned 16, I had, to, I had the amazing chance to be the queen's servant. The queen was kind, kind, kind to me and I liked my job. One day, a Nephite named Ammon shocked us by coming into our land. He said he wanted to be the king's servant. He changed our lives by saving the king's flocks and earning his trust. He told us it was all God's power. I was so excited to see my people's hearts changing. I watched as the king, I watched as the king asked for God's mercy, then fell to the ground. The queen and I watched nervously for three days. Had he died? Was he being punished? We were feeling very scared. When the king awoke, he told us about his joy in finding God, and the queen in the whole house, even Ammon, fell to the ground. I knew, I knew it was the power of God. This was my chance to let other people know. Taking courage, I ran from house to house telling people to come and see the miracle. It wasn't as good as I hoped. Many people thought it was a curse or punishment. The room filled with anger and shouting. One man even tried to kill Ammon. I knew I needed to help. I went to the queen and, and took her hand. And just then the queen awoke, stood up, and shared her joy. Next, next the king and the others woke up. And the whole kingdom eventually became believers. I'm, I'm glad that I could help God's plan. I am not well known. But you've probably heard of my captain, Yelman. When I was 13, my dad was ready to pick up a spear and break his covenant. My mom had told me the importance of keeping covenants, so I didn't want my dad to break his, because he was less likely to be protected in battle. I didn't know how to use any weapons, but I decided to go to war, even if I had to fight grown men. Every person in my army was young and inexperienced, so I called the army the Wimpy Warriors, but Captain Halem preferred the term the Stripping Warriors. I had faith God would protect us. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, so I am Glinda, also known as Galinda, <laughs> from Wicked on Broadway. I'm Elphaba. Also from Wicked on Broadway. <laughs> Yeah. Do you guys want to sing any of the songs? It's total indecision. It's a pure ancestral. Now would you admit it came on fast? Still I do believe that it may last. And I will be lonely, lonely you my whole life long. You gonna punch him?
Okay, we decided oh, we're gonna vote. Whoever has the most candy has to Did you get a lot of peanut butter? To me. No, Rex, I think you're